Thank you so much to Squarespace for being today's sponsor and for helping me build my new website, but more on that later. Remember all the things that we look forward to this year? Remember going to the store last December and carefully picking out your dream calendar because 2020 was going to be the year. Well, I mean, it definitely has been the year, just not the year of anything that we had been anticipating. See, I for one know that I've had to relearn that life is so uncertain and unpredictable and very much out of our control. But we do have control of some things. And today I wanted to focus on the words look forward to and anticipation. See, I like to think of my days as little treasure hunt adventures, except 99% of the time I know what the treasure is, but that doesn't stop me from enjoying it just as much. You know, kind of like how when Mr. Bean sent himself Christmas cards and acted super surprised and excited when he received them. Yeah, that's how I aspire to be. Like, yes, we can look forward to the bigger things down the line, like birthdays and trips and events and things like that. And I think that is equally important, but life isn't just down the line. It's also right now. And that is why I like to fill my days with tiny things to look forward to, to turn the most mundane and ordinary things into things that I await with pleasure. You know, I think it's an essential part of our happiness and overall well-being to create tiny treats and habits for ourselves throughout the day, every day. And now it's important to mention that it's not as much about the treat or habit in itself as it is about simply having things to look forward to. So in other words, it doesn't need to be these super healthy, productive things at all. The point really is to build up healthy anticipation by creating your own tiny reward system, which will bring you joy and motivation and even gratitude because learning to enjoy the tiny things in life will do that for you, or at least it's done that for me. So for instance, one of the very first things that I do in the morning is I put my jewelry on and it's also one of the very last things that I do at night and it's a tiny thing, but it's something I always look forward to every morning and every night because it signals to me that I'm either getting the day started or that I'm just checked out for the night because once those earrings are on in the morning, there is no going back to bed and once they are off at night, there is nothing or no one that could get me to do anything that requires any effort from me at all and that's just how it is. One thing I recently added to my tiny reward system is having one or two squares of dark chocolate. I think it's like 87% after lunch and I don't know what it is about it, but just knowing that there is chocolate waiting for me after lunch, it just makes me feel good. One of my favorite things that I did this summer was checking on my plants every morning. As you've seen on my Instagram way too many times, if you follow me there, we grew tomatoes and basil and coriander, which I love, and all kinds of herbs um, over the summer. and. They required a lot of care, which was totally worth it because we got to have our very own little garden. But so that became something that I looked forward to every morning, you know, checking in on the garden, seeing if any of the tomatoes had turned red, seeing how many chilies had grown and so on. So good times. The next thing is something that I talk about in every other video, and that is journaling. I don't want to get into it too much because it feels like more of a daily habit rather than something that would be part of a tiny reward system. But honestly, I just don't understand why everyone doesn't journal. Like set aside five minutes of your day and just write. It's like a spa for your mind and it's a perfect small break to incorporate in your daily life. And next we have something that I'm trying to incorporate as a tiny habit and that is to greet people on the street, especially if I'm walking through a neighborhood. And now depending on where in the world you live, this one might seem so obvious, but 
Here in Sweden, we aren't exactly super chatty with strangers, we mostly keep to ourselves. But honestly, saying hi to a stranger and then having them smile and hi you back, it just honestly cannot not make your day better. It just can't. You know, I know that I get really excited when someone highs at me, and so I want to learn to be someone that highs at people and bring them the same joy and excitement as well. Oh, and another thing that was actually when I was working an office job, I absolutely loved the train ride home once I was off work so much that even on my days off, like I didn't miss work, but I missed getting off work and just having those 30 minutes completely to myself. And at the time, I didn't really like my job, but having that tiny thing to look forward to just made it a lot easier. So you can imagine how my world just shattered when someone was like, Oh, you're off too? Let's take the train together. It was the worst. Now, I don't want to give too many examples of what I do personally because I don't want it to influence you too much. I feel like that would defeat the whole purpose of this being entirely about you and what you enjoy and what you need in your life. You know, our lives and circumstances are all so different and we each have our silver linings hiding in different places. And it also just depends on what you value. You know, do you value feeling peaceful and calm? Do you value comfort? Do you value getting pumped up and excited? And now you, of course, don't need to just pick one of those things, but thinking about it can be a good way to put you in the right direction of what tiny treats and habits you want to incorporate into your life. And I also want to remind you that there are no rules. This is your personal tiny reward system and you can change it up however and whenever you want. If you want to leave a pair of fuzzy socks by your bed at night and put them on first thing in the morning because it makes you feel cozy, do that. If you want to scroll through wholesome memes on Reddit while you're having breakfast, do that. At the end of the day, it's really just about finding a way to trying to turn the present into something that you appreciate and to have fun with it and to make each day count. And yeah, I totally stole that from the Titanic, but it was the only way I could think of putting it. And I mean, it's true. And now you want to know what I'm looking forward to right now? Talking about Squarespace, who so kindly is our sponsor today. I've had my website with Squarespace for almost a year now and I'm very happy with it. If you are someone who needs a website, whether you are a blogger or an entrepreneur or an artist and you just want to get your stuff out there as you should, using Squarespace makes it really easy for you. You just pick one of their beautiful and professional templates and start building a site that is going to suit your needs. And if you do need any help on the way, their customer service really is excellent, which makes it that much easier. So on my website, which I have kept pretty minimalistic, you can find my book recommendations, our book club, which you should totally join if you haven't already, the camera equipment that I use for my videos, and some other things as well. What's also really great is that you get really close insights to the traffic on the site. And now to try it out for yourself, head to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you are ready to launch, Go to squarespace.com slash Lana Blakely to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. And I will, of course, leave the link for that in the description box as well. And that was all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Now, please share in the comment section what is something that you do on the daily that you look forward to. Let's chat about it in the comments and I will see you there.